This video was brought to you by Elbilmerk, a bedroom planner, storing by Ken Power and Bill Componenter. Yo, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you guys how fast or slow this Mini Cooper SE with a 54 kilowatt hour battery is charging. So with me I have Isabel. Isabel, say hello to the camera. <laughs> Yeah, this is how we roll. Uh, uh, sorry if uh, my voice is not the greatest. I have uh, the kindergarten flu. Oh. It was just a month the last time I had it. Okay, but anyway, let's just roll the tape. I include actually Mini and also uh, one of the Stellantis cars. It doesn't matter which one, they use the same battery. And also a Model 3 Highland River Drive and an ID3. Yeah, they are actually have a similar price. Okay, so uh, the Mini, you see, will hit 100 kilowatts uh, immediately, uh, at least at 10%-ish. And uh, you will get this 100 kilowatt only for 5% until it throttles to 80 kilowatt. That's it. EC4X is charging faster. Model 3 is charging way faster. Also, ID3, man, they're all charging way faster and they cost roughly the same. Actually, EC4X, uh, well, actually, if you will buy something similar like a Peugeot uh, E28, it will cost less than that with the same battery. But okay, uh, at least the Cooper can manage to uh, uh, maintain 78 kilowatts fairly flat you will see that through the charging uh, curve now uh, and, but then okay uh, down there EC4X uh, actually started throttling a little bit uh, it's uh, kind of neck on neck 28 and 31 percent on the EC4X versus Cooper whereas Tesla is so far ahead Tesla is still charging at 120 kilowatt charges way faster than the Cooper would ever charge at ID3 also starts throttling a little bit but uh, it's kind of okay uh, falling a little bit behind it's a bit disappointing how slow ID3 is charging it's a German car after all it should have a nice and flat charging curve like a Tesla right no, uh, but the Cooper, okay, it doesn't charge that fast, but at least it has a nice and flat charging curve. Yeah, look at that. Even at 40%, we can take 78 kilowatt. And then EC4X is starting to fall kind of a little bit behind. It's charging a bit slower. EC, yeah. And then ID3, but look at ID3. What? ID3 just goes slower and slower. It's actually charging slower than the Cooper right now. And then Tesla, wow, okay, Tesla is already at 55%. It's way ahead of the other. Okay, and then back to the Cooper, uh, you can see that around 50%, that's where you get another uh, break point, but 68 kilowatt, fairly flat, until it throttles, well, I don't remember, no, no, it was actually even longer, yeah, we can get that longer, okay, that's great, easy 4x on the other hand, wow, 87 kilowatts, still past 57%, wow, Tesla also fairly fast compared to the other, but then ID3, look at ID3, ID3 charges slower and slower now, it's gonna be taken, oh, it's gonna be passed by the Cooper even, wow, huh, how is that possible, the Germans then falling behind, beaten by the Cooper, oh, okay, and then what's okay? Tesla is around uh, ten percent. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, around ten percent higher than the other, almost. Yeah. And uh, now, and uh, eventually, you will see that the Cooper, okay, it, it can maintain sixty-nine kilowatt, nice and round number, but it can actually maintain that flat curve until almost eighty percent. So right now, the Cooper is ahead of the ID three. <coughs> Oh, <laughs> sorry for the background noise. Yeah, this is so exciting. It's like uh, watching the Tyson versus Jake Paul <laughs> match. Uh, some people say it was rigged. What about this this race here? This charting test was it also rigged? Oh, I don't know, but I didn't get that much money for getting it rigged anyway. But uh, right now, it's, uh, it's, it's like I said, it's nice and flat on the Cooper SE. It can still take over yeah, 67 kilowatt almost until 80 percent. The other ones that start slowing down. The EC4X starts slowing down. The ID3 starts slowing down the Tesla starts slowing down but the Cooper can still maintain nice and flat there okay now it starts throttling at almost 80% wow so that means you can actually go fairly fast then to 80 or, 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 or actually half an hour what half an hour to 80% what the heck man we are on this standard now it's not uh, that we reached 80% uh, uh, in uh, 18 to 20 minutes uh, yeah Okay, uh, back to the race here. Now it's ahead. It's dead even between EC4X and the Cooper. Uh, no, actually EC4X is slightly ahead, but the ID3 has fallen behind and then Tesla is actually about to hit 90%. What the heck? Tesla is usually known for going kind of slow, but you see, that means that, oh, there, Tesla won to 90%. Yeah. So uh, that means that the other guys, they must, they must be really slow compared to Tesla then. Which is going to be the second one, huh? EC4X. Yeah, the Stellantis car actually has okay charging curve, past 90%. So uh seems like uh, the Stellantis cars, EC4X, will take the second place, but uh, closely followed by the Cooper. Cooper, there, okay, EC4X, second place, and then Cooper will be the third. And then, to my big surprise, the ID3 is the fourth, the slowest. Wow, what the heck? Okay, um... Are we done? Wait, wait, there, yeah, so that, yeah, we, we hit 90%, there. Uh, no need to watch the ID3 finish, it's gonna take some time. 
Or if you look at the charging curve, you see that uh, on top here we have Tesla hitting 170 kilowatt and then actually goes fairly flat or I mean at least higher than the other ones. And then the ID3 is a second here, also fairly flat, but then it drops below the other. And then we have the green line here, that's the C EC4X, which also managed to go above 100 kilowatt for a while. Is it what is it? Okay, they just said And then the lower series, Mini Cooper, you see that we hit the 100 ish kilowatt for a little bit and then it drops and then it just pretty much stays below everyone else until around 50%. And then it has, okay, some flat curve towards the end. But uh, yeah, for 1000 kilometer challenge, I don't charge to 80%, I charge to maybe 50 60% only. So that's why, uh, okay, Isabel, yeah, we're gonna go inside now. That's why. Uh, the loser here is the Mini Cooper, and then the winner is Tesla! Oh yeah! Okay, do you guess, well, Tesla. Tesla. Tesla is the best. Yeah, Tesla is good. Tesla good. Oh, that's too hard. Okay. You can say Mini, right? Mini. Mini. Mini, yeah, Tesla. Okay, anyway. I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.